Hey there, I'm Aaron. In this video, what I'm going to do is take this striking vintage photo and I'm going to expand the canvas and we are going to give her more of a full body portrait and really bring her back to life, so to speak. So this is an image that I had generated and I had asked for a 35 year old woman in the 1940s. So quickly doing the math, um, if she is alive, she'd be very old. So let's say that we've come across this image in the family shoebox full of old photos. And let's give her the justice that she deserves. So I'm going to, first of all, increase the size of the canvas to, let's make it 800 by 1200. And so that's certainly not going to be a full body, but it will give be, will be enough additional canvas that it'll be, will be quite striking, I think. So a few considerations one being that because of the low cut nature of this blouse here um, if I were to select the entire area and have the AI generate the rest of it there's definitely more than a risk that it's going to come down here and be some sort of a um, not nudity but quasi revealing and not what we're looking for here for the family photo style um, and the other is that there's heavy shadowing here. And so if we, for example, were to take our selection like so, we might end up with something that's just really, really heavily shadowed here, the clothing not being appropriate and that kind of thing. So I'm actually going to select as close to her head and hair as possible and just sort of isolate that because her outfit is not really that relevant and you know it's not we'll say that it wasn't being worn for an occasion or something like that so I'm going to give it this for a selection then I'm going to press this button which is going to invert the selection so now instead of the area that I selected it's all the space around it and it's as simple as generating the fill and I had done a similar video where I was we'll say virtually restoring uh, a an image and it was when I did this it left um, almost like a frame around the entire image so I think by selecting that top area and including it it's going to create a seamless idea as we have here on the screen so here is version one we have version two and we have version three I think version two or three are really cool and I think that I'm not sure about the specific material that they've used in this shirt, but I think that this just kind of gives a casual and maybe more like a true to true to life kind of vibe. Let's do this though. Let's go ahead and highlight her head again, invert the selection, and let's just generate another round and see if we like those any better. I really don't mind that, but <clears throat> let's zoom in a little bit here kind of looks like acid wash or like almost a ruined suede something some suede that's gotten too much water but what a striking face so natural looking I think so let's zoom out that is really really nice I like how it added this environment here by turning this into like the corner of a wall let's see what else we have also very nice and natural the crossed arms is nice and there, a little bit more of a formal occasion. What is happening in here? Not that great, not visually appealing. So if we were choosing one, two, or three, we have one, two, or three. I think because one and two are quite similar, I'd probably go with number one because that definitely does bring things to life. So there you go, folks. Um, that's how easy it is to take an old vintage photograph and the thing about adding some additional body and some space around them is that it gives them the opportunity to have some breathing room and for you to get an idea, a better idea of who this person might have been and uh, their personality. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will catch you the next time.